Okay, we're back. Uh, we're about to look at creating some controllers for the arms. Now, in a lot of cases, when you get a character, you'll get them in a T-pose, uh, which is just a humanoid character standing with his arms uh, directly perpendicular from his body. Uh, this makes it much easier to rig, and so whenever you get arms that are not set up like this, it always makes them a little more difficult to set them up and have them rotate properly, especially when you're setting up an FK system. So what I'm going to do is just create a NURBS curve at origin. I'll just zero that out. And what I'm going to do now is actually go control G to group it. Now what this is doing is just putting pretty much an empty object outside it, uh, an empty parent outside it, so that I can move that around. So I'm now, while I've got the group selected, I'm actually going to use a tool that I created in an earlier exercise, uh, which is, if I go to my animation tab, this sniper tool. So uh, to make this a little easier, I'm going to go to Window and bring up my Outliner. So now I can scrub down here and find my group one. So with this group one, uh, I want it to snap exactly to uh, this shoulder joint here. So I'm going to select my shoulder joint, and then in the outliner, uh, you need to control select, or else you'll select everything in between. And then I'm going to hit my sniper tool. And that will just bring it exactly to where it needs to be here. Now what, what this is actually doing is it's putting all these transforms on the group node and not on the circle. And with the circle what we can do is if we want it to come around here, so I'm going to put that at 90 degrees and then freeze these transforms, uh, freeze these rotates. Now it doesn't look like it's done a whole lot, we still have our nice rotation axis here but I'm going to show you what would happen if you actually do this just straight with a NURBS curve. So I'm going to create a NURBS curve. Uh, I'll make this a little bit smaller. For the purpose of this exercise, I will use this color to change it to red so that we can see it. I'll click this joint and the curve. Come back to my sniper tool. And now, when I, you'll notice that firstly, it's harder for me to rotate this around and put it into the spot that I want. Uh, but now, as soon as I go uh, right click, freeze all, you'll notice that my rotation pivot actually no longer lines up with the actual curve, whereas this one still does. Uh, and uh, the position that this joint is isn't so much of a problem, but once you get to things like elbow joints where you only want to be rotating along the one axis, you really want these axes to be lining up exactly with the joint underneath. So that's why we need to group these joints so that we can keep all these transforms on the group above it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that now. And so we've got our uh, nice uh, joint group here. And what I can do is duplicate that and do the same thing here. Select the elbow joint, control select the group, and snipe. And you'll see that that nicely lines everything up. And that's the arm set up. So after this, I'll come back and show you about mirroring these to the opposite side. And also, if you notice in our outliner, it is looking atrociously messy. So we're going to look at cleaning all that up as well. Okay, I'll see you in the next tutorial.